This video will teach you three easy ways to create your own free Minecraft server, all of which I have personally used. Keep in mind that some options will be better suited for specific needs, such as a modded server or an SMP, so I recommend checking all three options. If you're looking just for an SMP server, Hypixel SMPs might be the best option for you, because they provide pretty good server performance even when you have a large group of players at one time. Although, in my experience using them on the Rixindir SMP, sometimes you would get like a server crash and a little bit of progress was lost. While it is easy to use and set up, you are going to have a little bit of drawback, especially when it comes to features, such as like, if you want to have mods and plugins, you, you literally can't. So you do need to like ask yourself what you want out of your server before you know choosing one of these options. I'm just telling you what they're good for. Now, Eterno servers are highly customizable and super easy to set up. They support both the Bedrock and Java edition, as well as a plethora of game versions. Additionally, they come with the greatest plugin and mod support, which can even be downloaded directly from the website where you set up the server. You can also change the server properties in a very user-friendly way instead of going into the files and changing it yourself. It's gonna take longer than some of these other options on this list, and especially paid servers to start. And unless you have players actively on it, it will shut off by itself after five minutes, which means you will have to constantly turn the server back on anytime you want someone to join. The other drawback is going to be server performance, and you really would be expecting this as it's a free server, although I will say the other two options on our list are better. You may see other servers giving, you know, two gigabytes of RAM like Eternos does for, you know, quite a bit of money, right? Well, they're not going to be quite equivalent just because they have the same amount of RAM. There's a lot of other factors that go into servers, but in general, as long as you don't load too many chunks at once, or, you know, try to cram a ton of different players on your Eternos server, you should be totally fine. One new and obscure option is actually using a Minecraft client, and you may have heard of it. It's called Feather Client, and they allow you to host a server with just as much, if not more, customization than the Eternos servers. And it has the potential for way better performance because you actually run the server on your own computer's hardware, which most likely has more than two gigabytes of RAM, right? And it also means you can keep it up as long as you want, assuming your computer is on. Now, the problem is if you have like unreliable or slow internet. Now, assuming you want to actually modify the server properties, the mods, the plugins, it's going to be less friendly to the user than Eterno. So you're going to have a little bit of a learning curve. It's not that hard, honestly. But if you're just setting up a basic server, you're fine. Okay, now keep in mind, it's running on your computer, right? So you're actually gonna have similar performance to like a single player world, which is really, really good. But for people kind of far away from you, especially if you have that bad internet, it's gonna be pretty laggy. So the thing is, I mean, some people might like that as like as an advantage, but in general, that's not something you want. So keep that in mind. Now there are other options like Minehut, but in my experience, these are by far the best three I can recommend. Feather Client's hosting can be really good for like a building server with world edit installed, but if you just want a casual SMP server, definitely go with the Hypixel SMP. Though Hypixel servers have been declining, click this video to learn more.